We've been doing catheter ablation for atrial fibrillation for about 15 years now, and the standard techniques of point-by-point -point ablation with radiofrequency current, I think we've all recognized has limitations with uh, potentials for gaps, etc. My first contact with the cry balloon was back in 2006, 2007. We realized that uh, in some veins we were able to achieve a single shot isolation. This indicated the potential of this technology. You can use it in a more simple way to do the PVI procedure, meaning that you uh, need less specific catheter maneuvers. Most of the veins you can approach simply directly with the balloon. What impresses me most about the second generation cryo balloon is its ability to isolate the pulmonary veins more efficiently compared to the previous balloon. That has allowed us also to reduce the treatment time from about four minutes to three minutes on most veins. So far we have six months follow-up data comparing these two generations of the cryo balloon and um, the second generation cryo balloon is significantly better. The Arctic Front Advance is a more powerful and uh, more uniformly freezing balloon. The big advantage of having a uniformly cooled frontal surface of the balloon is that you can direct your balloon in many ways to the PV ostium and create an efficient lesion. Again, this is preliminary, but we think that the permanency of these lesions with the second generation balloon is much higher than with the first generation. Procedure times came down to roughly 100 minutes. The fluoroscopy exposure for the patient and physician down to roughly 12 minutes. And I think these data are very promising. Reducing the procedure times really uh, improves the workflow with the whole team. In a case that we start at 9 o'clock in the morning, we um, often are done by 11 o'clock. What this reduction in procedure times means to us is the potential for us to do more cases per day. Catheter ablation of atrial fibrillation is still a complex procedure and uh, therefore it needs the proper training. The learning curve uh, of cry balloon pulmonary vein isolation is much shorter than uh, manual RF ablation. Physicians who are considering using the cryo balloon, I will also tell them that there's a little bit less uh, intensity during the procedure. During the freezes you can often um, relax or position the catheters for the next step and get things done while you're freezing. So during cryoadherence you can often work on other parts of the procedure. At least in my experience it's the most efficient single shot device to perform PVI. I think that uh, the second generation cry balloon because of its high rate of single shot PVI isolation and its uh, short procedure times has uh, the potential to become a new standard in the care, patient care of um, paroxysmal atrial fibrillation.